All right, guys, we're here with episode 12 of Robo Ratings. Yippee. Hey, let's get started. This is Ace's robot. Yes. Yeah. Ace Robotics 229V. 229V. And I'd like to say, I'd like to thank Beyonce. This is a very good robot, very clean. What do you think, Liam? Uh, I think I like it. I mean, it's clearly Lady Brown Mac, so you can see that uh, a lot of teams here in the U.S. are actually, you know, starting to really move over to the uh, some build techniques and even just designs from across the sea, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's get some other views of the robot here. Oh, <laughs> this is actually the robot. Whoops. Yeah, I was kind of kidding because this this is seven two seven R's robot, and yeah. them and Ace have the same robot. No, I mean, they just have a compression pad up here, so the ring gets brought up into the intake, into the into the hooks, right, and then it gets pulled up, and then it just stops in the compression pad. Right? There's friction that stops it there, and then it just pull it off with the the two five 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 point five volt motor, motors. Yes. Yeah, I'd give this robot an S tier. Sure. Next up, we have Four, Chase one. from. Five, four, S. Yeah, University of Sharks. This is really, really nice, actually. This is, once yeah. again, another Lady Brown, though. They ran out of black anodized metal. <laughs> I mean, no, I think they're using white. I think it's white and black. Is it? Mm hmm Are you sure it's not just the lighting? Maybe it's the lighting. Maybe actually, it probably Maybe is just it's... the lighting. I don't know. But yeah, another Maybe Lady Brown. The comments, whether it's the lighting or if it's white anodized. Yeah, and stay till the end, because, mm -hmm. oh no, it, they did not, oh, I was going to say that this doesn't look like it actually works because it's not fully done yet, but it is fully done, it's just a hood. This hood is like very far down, so. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I did, so did you remember seeing that hood, uh, Lady Brownback, Lady where Brown. they pull it yeah. up, oh yeah, That's so they cool. have this on a, on a pivot, but it's able to go very far back, so this can pull it through the pivot, basically. That's much more smart. Yeah, very, 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 so, so clean. Very. And I like these cutouts for the wheels, use, right? Use black rubber bands. Though. That's true. They, they, they're really keeping attention to detail here with these, these cutouts. This shaft might want to be cut. Though. This is a pretty long shaft sticking out there. Mm -hmm. Other than that, this is very nice. I give it. An I'd give it. And S tier as well. well I am currently Bang. failing to do that. Let's do that. S tier. Mid auto from mid bot. This isn't auto ratings. That's okay. Oh. <laughs> Did you see the robot jump there? I think their their bottom yeah. their plastic is too far towards the ground. If it's like close to the ground and it scrapes the ground, then your robot can jump. Yeah, we've had problems with that. But also they they scored one red ring. Yeah. So if you have hooks, this there's like no reason tier. why you shouldn't have a, a color sensor to do like a, a color sorting thing because it's just such an easy thing to do. That is true. Next up, CAD leaks. Metro Cobra. CAD leaks. Looks pretty. It looks like pretty simple. Gonna intake the the ring probably, and then it's probably gonna be hooks. Yeah, it will probably be hooks. It looks alright. Yeah. I think. I don't know if I like this license plate placement though. It's so I feel like it's taking up so much important space down here. You might want to. Uh, it's also phasing through the motor. That is true. I think it's pretty safe to just put it further out. It's license yeah, plates. Yeah, they're using mag plates though. Mag plates, yeah. Cool. Also, didn't we say that like these aren't really necessary? The spacer. Huh. I mean, I oh the the spacers. Well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess they help a little bit, but you should really, the main use for them is, like, just keeping everything together. I wouldn't say they really help with actually moving the ring. It's more just so your metal or your plastic is offended. Yeah. Wait, I just realized my mic has been really loud. Sorry. Okay. And, I mean, it, they're not going excessive like the other team we saw who had, like, six or seven of them. So I think, I think what they have is fine. Yeah. Alright, I think I'll give this a B tier. 
Yes. Owen. Owen. This is like oh yeah, I'm I said this looks like the ace robot from the and like, it looks season. like an ace profile picture. It does look <laughs> Yeah. It's Jacob. And boom, causing shenanigans. Where are they? They're up here at the top here. Oh, okay. Ring, ring. I was looking ring, the wrong ring. Oh, wait. Their, their intake's pretty smooth. Yeah. One more. Another ring. I think they're going to need a wall stick, though. I want I want to see yeah. a wall stick, Mac. I'm going to give this an A tier, but I think yeah. I want to see some wall sticks. Mm -hmm. We're cooking. Shoot. Yo, Shoot. flexible drive might be the meta. It's a lot lighter if you think about it. <laughs> if you think about it, I don't know. Is this competitive though? No, it is. How? Oh. Well, look how fast it is, and look how durable it is. It just ran into the wall at maximum. I think speed. that battery will fall off though. No, look. Where do you see it? It's. It's not even on that. Wait, how do they even have two motors? How do they turn? Huh? They have well, two motors. They, they turn off. They turn off the other motor, to turn, and so it just kind of coasts to the other side. That's true. I'm gonna give this a B tier. It's interesting. I'm gonna give it S tier. Kev Dog two two nine. Two two nine B. Yeah, this is a. This is a lot of, a lot of aluminum. So much aluminum. They even have this aluminum. thing here. What's that for? Yeah. So. Australian team. I don't it looks think like. you really need those couplers in the front. You probably don't need those. Yeah. Definitely don't need those. And go to the, go back to the other picture. Well, these are just to like connect the the triangles, to the front. You could maybe you don't have plastic. any plastic, yeah. But but like you could if you do have plastic, just replace those funnels you have with plastic, or even I mean we don't have funnels and it hasn't really been an issue, like at all. So I don't know. Yeah. Just you can probably cut down a lot of the C channels in order to make your bot lighter. And that'll just make you a lot more. Hey, they have they have motor covers, but like no plastic. That's so true. And also, wait, what is is that? Wait, their... wait, wait. wait. Mm -hmm. This is hood, but like with um the standoffs. Oh wow, that's interesting. Yeah, you should. I mean, uh, to be honest, flaps. You should probably just replace them with flaps first of all. But flaps are actually like, if you're just doing an intake, I think flaps are better than. Than flex wheels because it i mean it's the same speed pretty much but the flex wheels are just heavier than the flaps mm -hmm. yeah and then hey one thing is i noticed the radio the radio is right here yes and it looks like it sticks out the radio sticks out mm, that's probably bad yeah i mean i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't but suggest doing i that. do like your license plate holder that's <laughs> yes. very nice i would say hey move your radio up here probably like right here, mm -hmm. I wouldn't move it too close to the motors. I'd move it maybe like even, maybe like here, or maybe like oh, is here. there a hang? Yeah, they have a. I think it's, they have it's a hang. The and, hmm? I feel like you could make your hang like a lot lighter. You you have like two C channels coming off of your robot just yes. to mount your. Hang. This is getting a B tier. Who is this? Uh, Deleted user. <laughs> okay. He's two two nine from two two nine B. The brick. Brick. Yeah, so kind of like the last one. There's a lot of places you can cut down weight. There's too many places you can cut down weight. I think there you don't need. Are those you don't need? Are those five or three wide? I can't even. Think of them. They're five they're wide. Five. Yeah, you you don't need those. Look at a look at a, a drive base build tutorial, and look at those. Also, the black flex wheels in the front. Those are worse for pre roller. You're probably gonna want to just switch to gray. And the gears are unnecessary. Yeah. Just overall, like, kind of just look at other other people's robots and see how they've built them a lot lighter, and then kind of take inspiration from that. Yeah. Sorry, I've been I've been eating, but that's okay. Best clamp in existence. Oops. Sorry. I may have messed up there. So why is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I th I feel like you just need to make that that C chip. Yeah, let's just make it longer, because <laughs> right now it's clearly not long enough. Because I think yeah. I still I see a little bit of gap here, like a leeway that you could. You know. Also, 
also well, from what I've seen, it's better to have like not so much a, a vertical angle going into it, more like horizontal. That way, it more pushes down on the goal rather than tries to pull it in. I th I see like a lot of teams trying to do it how they did in Tipping Point, where they just push down. But these goals, it's a lot better to or to, to they did it in Tipping Point where they just pulled in. But I think it's a lot better with these goals to just push down, and then since they're like not flat, they'll just tilt in. Yeah, I agree. Well, I will for, for, forget to rate this one. I'm gonna give this one. An S tier. <laughs> this one is getting a C tier because it doesn't really work. And we have the Diddy mech. This mech, however, is kind of insane. Very, very smart. I'll just have him, have him explain it, I guess. The way we actually hold it is this pulley system that's banded so it'll tighten. Using this, it'll just I'll put enough pressure. So basically, what he does here is he has a string system that pulls on the standoff. So, like, a lot of redirects have problems with, you know, you have to uh, have, like, a system where it can go in, but it can't come back, right? A ring can pass through here, but then how is a ring, how are you going to make it so the ring can't go back through? Some teams have used pistons, like uh, 88.9, and then other teams, I know a lot of teams are using just, like, a passive... Um, what do you call it? Like a trap door. Yeah. But what he he has here is really smart because when it's down here, the burr band is able to pull the standoff all the way up while the string is not fully not fully tensioned. But when he fully tensions the string, the burr band is overpowered by the lift power, and the string is able to pull at the you know one of the joints for the standoff, and this is going to be able to squish down and keep the rings from falling back out. So that's really smart. I feel like it would be a little bit better, though, if instead of mounting the, the string on a rubber band, you could just mount it directly to the C channel and then tune how far you need it to go. Because you can see right now, the top ring kind of slides out the top, and that's just because it doesn't get enough range of motion. So if you don't have that give from the, the rubber band, then it it would push down more and then you can just tune it to be like the perfect placement of the string to where it's not tensioned when you have um the, the lift down but when you lift it up then it is tensioned mm -hmm. yeah i agree with that i think this is really smart i like to see more designs like these that so i'm gonna visit nate here All right, we're a school team that just started building a week ago. I only have two meetings a week. So I'm guessing that's two like build days a week because two meetings a week is a lot, but two build days a week is very little. Yeah. We're planning to have the conveyor be uh, belt be angled. The strange position of the bottom sprocket was just to showcase the hook to the teammates. Okay. Okay. Um, I think you're going to have to, the way you have it, you're probably going to have to have two rows of flex wheels in order to actually get it over to the hooks. And I feel like just having it a little bit more angled, your hooks, is a lot easier to get working if you don't have to have such a drastic change in angle from the pre-roller to the hooks. I feel like that would help a lot. Um, pulleys, I don't like. Bad yeah, voice. that's okay though. But hey, but I mean, they 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 do say they're gonna have a more tilted conveyor system. So I do like to oh, see how do. that works. Yeah, they, they said that in the okay. in the message. So because this is not attached right now, he's just holding it with his hand. So they're gonna you know maybe move this forward right. Add a try. I would add a triangle brace here and here, connect to the front of the drive right from here from your middle tower, and then what that allows you to do right. A lot of teams add triangle braces there. Maybe you can find an example. Oh. Right, right here. Well, yeah, looking at them, if you look closely back here, they have a triangle brace that goes here. And uh, do you guys have your, your like everything else mounted, mounted off the triangle brace? Like your, you know, your uh, intake and like all, that, all, yeah. all these ones? Yes, right? So, and looking at this one too, once again, triangle brace here, triangle brace here. Right, you see that happen over and over again. So, uh, what I suggest doing is, yeah, just 
put a triangle brace from here down to the edge of the drive. We're not the edge, but like towards towards the front. And then now you can mount your, uh, you can mount this right this sprocket into the triangle brace, and you can mount you know plastic poly on it, mount your intake on it, right? Mount everything on it. Very very nice and very good way to cut weight as well. Well, another, making the structure stronger because because plastic is really well because sorry because triangle brace is really strong. Yeah, another thing is uh, you since y'all are running four motor drive. Is that 450? What RPM mm, is it? I think that's 450. It looks like 450. It's very fast. 3, 3.2. Oh, wait, never mind. There is a third mode. Okay, never mind. You are 600. Wait, is that a half watt? I don't think so. I think I think that's a full. I think that's a full. Because they're running okay. three wide. They're on three wide, so. Never mind. Never mind. I thought you were running four motor drive on 3.25. But you <laughs> can also go back to the drive base picture. Uh, also, you can screw joint your wheels, so that will just, like, reduce friction, because those aren't directly powered by the, um, by the motors. You're able to just power them, uh, by the gear, so you can use a screw joint, which is a lot less friction true. than putting on an axle. Well, yeah, do some boxing as well. Just box everything. All right, I'm going to give this a solid C tier. Next up, Lena from 1082R. Yeah, yes. I took this picture. Yes, you did. Yeah. Um, we don't have, we didn't have plastic, so you see those metal things at the top. Yeah. We don't have now. Now they're now they're plastic. But Just tell us a little bit more about your robot. Oh, okay. Go in the thread. I sent a picture, a video of the redirect. Yeah. So pause when you see like the full robot. Like, oh yeah. So you see like. How, how the hood is up, that that moves the flex wheels out of the way. So that way our pivoting stage, which is our third row, is able to go up and then fall back down and spit the ring out the front. This allows for like a very, very quick redirect. It's not as fast as 889As, but it's still pretty quick. Um, and then uh, you just put the piston down and, and then you just intake like normal. Yeah, and this is just called like a hood redirect, right? Yeah, it's just a hood redirect. Parker said, "Would has have to get this nuff tier," and I think I would agree with him. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. I think this team worked really hard. No. No. Okay. Well, we have Rhett. Yes, Rhett. We saw how fast this intake was. This intake was so fast. That's nah, they. They switched to one motor. Wait, why? I thought they're, I thought they're doing pistonized. Uh... No, because um, they said they it used too much air. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So it, it, I mean, it's just it's still fast, but it's just a normal speed. That's true. That's How true. they had it before was insane. Yeah. Well, but I mean, yeah, it's just a a one thousand a. Where's it? Double play. It's one thousand a. One thousand a, uh, clamp. It just clamps on. Goes up, hood. Pretty cool. Yeah, you know I like the six bar though. I feel like this is, or no, this is a four bar. My bad. Yeah, four bar. I think they're able to then power it from much much lower. Yeah. Yeah, and that was nice. Very nice. But the only problem is that they only they can only score one at once, right? Yeah, I mean, but for no color sorting. Yeah, no, no color scores, so it's unfortunate. But that's just how it. But it is very clean. I think you know. Do you know how much it weighs? Because I think. I have no. Clue. I think for for like metabots, I think it's slightly to the heavier side. It looks like at least. Probably. I'm gonna give this an A tier. I'm gonna give it an S tier. All right, Chunk is Prime 2.0. From Adam 229V. From Adam 229V. Wow. Yeah. A lot to say about this robot. Clean your wheels. Get some baby wipes. Wipes the wheels. <laughs> I bet you have no traction right now. I bet I bet a four-motor drive can now push this. A two-motor drive? Two-motor claw bot. Yeah, I agree. Hey, yeah. but this but. is interesting, though, because you, you see this? This is like <laughs> they have standoffs on the on the, or on the redirect. Yeah. They, they just have a tension. Uh, but this, their redirect is so fast. 
So speedy. So fast. Is this or is this actually a B team? Uh, is it? I think. So. I don't know. Actually. Oh no! It is. It is. It is. Because because you see the, this gap here, they have like a tech where like they use a piston from back here, and that like mm -hmm. pushes it and then it forces the ring to come back through. Yeah, so they just do they just momentum the the ring in between those two rows of flex wheels. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> I think so. This is. And then we saw. I mean, their hook works very well. Wait, do they? What do they have stopping the ring from falling back? Mm, nothing. Oh no, piston. I, I'm yeah, piston. I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, yeah. You, they could probably make it a. Just a one way. Our our one way works very well. You barely like once the ring's there. Yes. It'll be, let's even with zero let's show that again. So well, it's, you can it's see like right. This, but. Yeah, you saw it right there. Uh, it's a yeah. We made some door. adjustments to the ramp, so now now no matter where you touch the ring, even with zero momentum, it'll always go in. All right. Thanks for the feedback on our robot. Here's an updated version of the robot. Few issues we're having. It drips very hard to the left, most likely the, from friction. Okay, you definitely want to fix that. Rings can easily yeah. fall out. You definitely want to fix that. Sometimes ring can just not go into the stake. <laughs> Probably should fix that too. Okay, so for the drifting to the left, right? Here are some some like pauses or some ways you can troubleshoot it. Look at all the motors on your drive base and look at what uh, how many watts they're running. You by clicking on the brain, going to devices, and then selecting each motor. Then you run it with the code, and then it will show you how many watts it's running. If one has an abnormal amount of watts, it's either a bad motor or you did something wrong. Yeah, uh, this is jank. Like if you overspace stuff, uh, that can cause a lot of friction. But if it's sudden, you probably didn't do that. Check if things are bent. Check if a motor's just not connected. Um, what else? Check if something's dragging on the ground. Yeah. Well, while Liam was giving you some, some, uh, ideas for fixing that, I found out how you can fix your other issue. So looking at this, honestly, I feel like, uh, missing, missing the, the second to last ring here was just because there was one already on the thing on the stake, but this one though, you should not be missing this one. And the reason for that is because he didn't have a plastic piece or anything here to hold mm. hold the ring in, right? Because the ring, because his his top, this is very, very, very empty, right? I would add a plastic that goes here. It's like a trap door, right? Because right now when it goes in, it can flop around and it's not guaranteed that the hook will pick it up. Correct? Yeah. No, I see a lot of teams. I mean, it, I'm sure if you find... Uh, yeah, I might go up a little bit. Hooks, you form. should be able to find a lot of people do this. I'm sure we will. Why are, there, why are there so many? Wait, wait, wait. Go down. Uh, the Lady Brown probably had one. That's She's true. Going down. But okay. Oh, wait. Which Lady I Brown? Have that oh, one. This is a. This is a hook. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what they have here is. Yep, they have one. A like little plastic piece. You yeah. See. If we yeah, you see this plastic piece right here, so whenever they're, they're intaking, right, the ring goes under it. So right here, they would have run into the same mistake you guys ran into, because you see how this ring stops here, right? If they have no plastic piece or and no, no C channel up here, this ring can like pop out or like just like not get picked up but since they have it there this ring can't leave so it gets picked up and it gets thrown on just like that so basically you need to like have a a cell for the rings to wait for the hook to be there otherwise they can just fall out yes. and also if if the hook just hits it weird to where like it's of the hook then that also will cause it to just flip out the front so just adding like a small plastic piece or if you don't have plastic there's like a little metal strip We'll, we'll probably solve that problem. Yeah. Well, good luck on the robot. I'm going to lose a C tier. The rings not going on the stake. Hmm? Oh, I said it's probably... I said looking at the, that one video I saw, probably just because there's two going... Like, it, it hit this one. Uh, when this one's, like, pretty much not on. And then it made this one fall off and made the other one go on. Do you think speeding it, speeding it up might help? Yeah, it looks well. a little too slow. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Oh wait, what? What? How? 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 Um. Well, you need motors. Well, and and you need a and you need a cross brace with C channel so you can mount stuff. 
Mm-hmm. And and just so your drive base hasn't been, because right now both of your cross braces are at the very end of the robot, which means they do with like nothing. But hey, two inch is very overpowered though. Oh, and by the way, mm-hmm. this is the last episode of season one. Season two will be very interesting. We'll start off with an amazing robot. We'll start off with some crazy, crazy new leaks. And it has to do with two inch wheels, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. This is 800 RPM drive though, so yeah, this is very nice. I'm gonna give this an S tier because I can't wait to see what two inch wheels does this yeah. season. Doink. 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 It's dunk. 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 Um I mean it's a doinker. It's I mean it's a cut three wide, so maybe it won't get bent. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty right. sure it probably won't, because like I don't yeah. know, like is I mean if you're not like really if you're really not careful with driving yeah sure but like i feel like people i feel like they should be fine i feel like if they have a lady brown mech like this they should be fine also i noticed this is bent is that not bent is are these not aligned it might be the angle actually because it's a downwards angle That's probably not true. probably not it probably... <laughs> doesn't look very aligned i i don't know what to say here i feel like maybe add like a c channel where one by one on the top and on the bottom connecting these two or or if just like a screws loose it might be. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, watch out for that. I'm going to give this a solid A tier. I'll give it an A plus tier. <clears throat> random. Pretty random. Not much to be said here. Oh, screws on the motor. I love your cable management. Yeah, now we're going to give it <laughs> a D tier. We've seen this one already. Um, yes, but it... No, it does look... Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a, a redirect. I, wait, wait, yeah, you could, how, how are y'all not at a 24? <laughs> it low key looks like y'all are out of 24. Maybe they are. Yeah. I mean, you can fix that by just mounting your pivot point a lot higher. The higher you have your pivot point, the more flush your page is going to be with your robot. We've seen a lot of teams get their hoods very, very flush with the robot. I know, I know some uh, like our E team. theirs is almost completely in their robot because they just mounted it from the basically the height of where the the rung is. So, yeah, that would help if you're legal. If you're not, I would still recommend going higher because yeah. Wait, you can't even intake a ring when it's down. I don't think. <laughs> I think it's yeah. I think it's hitting the ground. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll not fix hitting that. The ground, but just covering it. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix that first because I feel like it's too low. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, other than that, I mean, I like like, I, it's only covered, but it's only like tied on by one. No, two, two. Okay. I was looking at it. I was like, that only looks like it's one. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'll maybe tighten this one more so it's more flushed, but I'm gonna give it a B tier. Okay, currently adding Lady Brown Mech. So, 480, 6 motor on 3.25, 11 watt intake, two 25 uh, millimeter stroke pistons, clamp. Locking. Locking clamp. Very, I, I like I locking like, clamps. I feel like locking clamp isn't really necessary. Like we saw... Oh my gosh, that's, that's a short drive. <laughs> These are... <What? laughs> that's so close. Yeah. So your, your center turning is probably going to be like pretty... Oh... Yeah, it's going to be, like, a little bit off. Which I guess doesn't matter too much. I just um, feel like this is going to, like... No, oh, actually, they're not, they're not really going to tip right this season. I just feel like I was just scared that, like, when they stop really quickly, it would it would dig these into the ground. Yeah. Probably not that big That's of an issue, though. Cautious about. Yeah. I mean, you could always either add them to the top or not add them at all. Yeah. Actually, wait, one thing that I'd like to add from uh, previous seasons that we actually found a lot of teams were overlooking was weight distribution, right? Because, yeah, of course, you can have good, you can have good cent- uh, cog, right? If you have, if you have like the equal amount of weight on both ends of the robot, yeah, you can have, you'll have equal cog, sorry, center of gravity, right? But, but then, guess what? There's, your turning is so slow. So what I do on what we did on world's about like to, to maximize our acceleration was we put all the weight into the into the, directly in the middle so then we have the least amount of well we we won't have 
the least amount of chance per se of t of like tipping, but we will have the fastest acceleration possible and also the fastest turning because that that isn't okay. Having your all your weight in the center doesn't make your forward backwards like your linear acceleration faster, but it makes your turning acceleration faster, and that's a big part as well. That makes your butt feel a lot faster. Yeah, and um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, you're kind of. You should oh, probably... I can't say that on 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 video. Can't say what. Uh, my butt five days. I'm actually oh, afraid to rate this one. I'm gonna give this one an eight here. I like it. It's clean. My butt five days. I think people are just typing. <laughs> people are typing. There's been two messages since yeah, we started. No, this is a, really there's bad. It's a new robot. There's a yeah, new there's robot every couple robots. minutes. Two new robots. All right, this one. Go out in five days. Let's all right, let's Robot speed run. So ball bearings, gears, or sprockets. You don't need ball bearings. Mm, I like the plastic. Oh, I like these uh, flex wheels. They're like zip tied together in the center. All right, to form to a shape that's closer to the to the rings. I don't know how necessary that is, but I mean they have it, so maybe it's pretty good. And they have this motor and this gear. So far outside, this is so so bad. I don't know what to say. I feel like you should probably move this up here. Or even mm -hmm. like, like just here. Yeah, I would definitely not risk putting it there. This is kind of dangerous. Wait. Oh, also you... no, ch no, you gotta change this. <laughs> you gotta change this. It's over. All right, With let me tell you a story. Or yeah, the... so at Kalahari, uh, which was like the biggest sig last year, we went there, and then so our our when we got there and we ran it on the uh, ran our programs in the fields and stuff, none of them worked. None of them, they all worked, like when we ran it ourselves on just the controller, it worked. But when they ran it on the field, it didn't work. The issue for that was because our radio was too close to the motor. So whenever the field sent, uh, like sent message or sent like signals or whatever, right? So many robots were there. The radio wasn't picking up like good frequencies or good like um, signals. So our code just wouldn't run. So then we ended up moving the radio away from the motor and or even the electronics. Just move your radio away from any other electronics and move it high up and put it on like a uh, insulator or whatever, right? So two more two more things. Um, so those couplers at the top, is that four screws through them? That's four nylon nylocks and four screws. Okay, I don't feel like one you need a coupler there. Two, you definitely didn't need to put four screws through it. One or two is enough. Yeah, well, two's enough, but I don't even think you need a couple there. Yeah. And then another thing, um, do you you don't even need a high strength axle at the bottom. You could just screw joint the the sprocket at the bottom since you have the motor powering it. That is true. You can do like a low strength axle here. Mm -hmm. Well, right. that, no, 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 no bot. This one has no bot. Okay, this one. If we're gonna rate it again, I'll give it a B tier. This one, nothing. Uh, can't see anything. Magnum, Magnum wheels. <laughs> Magnum eight, wheels. Eight. Four inch mechano wheels. <laughs> I don't know. There, there's no there's no intake either. There's a piston here in the middle. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm gonna give it an F tier. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh Diddy. Diddy with the with the robot. He's back. He's back. This um, one doesn't make sense. I don't I don't <laughs> I don't think this one works. F tier. F tier. Go, okay. go, go. Go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is S -tier. What's happening? What is happening? This this looks like a kind of revamped um over under hero bot. I don't think that's competitive, but we'll give it an S tier. F tier. Oh, oh S tier, yes. S -tier. Uh, S tier. We won't watch the video. I don't want to get copyrighted. Lady Brown's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Five, six, or five, one, five, six, five, zero, C. They got Kirby on the robot. Kirby. That's very nice. Kirby. Yep. Oh, uh, I don't, I might be wrong, but are you not allowed to have the red license plate with, wouldn't they call you on that? The, I think they would. Yeah, I would. I would make this hot swappable too, and have two Kirby's. I'd have one or for just, blue or and just one paint for... it black. Yes, or it paint looks, the back back. Clean. Or if you have a three D printer, I would recommend three D printing. A lot of pictures. I'm oh, gonna give and this... then you give us a few pictures of your robot. Yeah, only, only a few. Only a few. Yeah. Okay, Kirby. Please send more next time so we yeah. can actually see it. Yeah. I'm yeah. giving this an A tier. A tier. Uh. Works now and has wheels. It has wheels. Automatic S tier. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he kept us very updated on the robot. Wait, wait, wait. But like, um, okay. He did fix the 
the the battery but i don't think you needed that l channel i think you could just do the zip ties on the rate or on the battery and it would be fine i think, I think that, this is like so over i think this is so like unnecessary you see the bottom where they have like a another roller stage on the bottom yes yeah, so that's like an ace thing yeah and it's they cool. never did that after doing it once yeah now i don't think it it really i mean i guess it might help a little bit because I know pickups a lot weirder with these objects than in over under. That is true. Where like, like I've seen a lot, a lot worse pre rollers than any other season. So I mean, I would guess it would help. Um, they they fix their brain mount. Their brain mount is a lot cleaner. It's it's not the same. Yeah, they they, they fix a lot of stuff. I I, mean, I still think that I, th I still think these tanks are a little too far to the outside. I, I would move them further in. If you can find some spots there, that'd be great. Also, I don't know if that... What is that sensor called on their hooks? Uh, this one? Yeah. I think that's a vision sensor. Okay. I don't remember if the vision sensors are bad, but I know the distance sensor is, like, very good. So, I don't know. Uh, I I heard it, like, detects it a lot better, but mm -hmm. I don't know how to program. So, well, don't, hey, good work. Don't Keep it, keep up your good work. Robot base. Wait, we didn't write. Oh, we, we did S tier. Um, okay. <laughs> I would, uh, I would, I would, I would restart. Everything's bent. Everything's bent. <laughs> yeah, everything is bent. I, I would get, I would get new parts. Well, I would unbend yeah. your parts if you can. <laughs> yeah, are... try to unbend them. But if you have the ability to get new parts, you're probably gonna want to do that because your friction's gonna be very bad. Yeah, probably go watch uh, a, a drive base build tutorial. My motor game or something. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, also, also make, make your ramp out of poly. If you, if you have a heat gun, you can just. Oh, also. I wouldn't heat gun. I would use three open, separate yeah. pieces of poly for your. Your thing. Maybe that's all they have, though. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, if that's all you have, then then that's fine. But. I don't know. I mean, it seems weird to only have three of the exact size that you would need. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I I'd watched the video on how to build a drive base and I'd build it like uh, following their example. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> All right. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, he, we we've been like talking a lot. Look how many messages are in the. Thread. There's seven hundred and forty messages. We try to help like... this guy. Uh, his 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 robot's like completely different now, so we can just go to the next one. <laughs> Chassis from July goes hard. Huh. Yeah, cut the axle. Yeah. Cut the axle. He says it in the thing, cut the axle. Where's all um, what's all the wires doing in the in the I don't know. The you just doing? gave us a drive base. What are we supposed to do? Yeah. F tier. Well it looks like it looks reasonable. It looks like a regular no. drive base. Okay. <laughs> Robot build over the summer. Wonky four bar design. We don't have a pneumatic to make to make thing work. Well, okay. Okay. I mean, oh nice. wow! Wow, that that's cool. That's cool. That's so cool. You see that move? You see that move? Bam! I do. It's like an off center four bar. Yeah, I I like that. That's cool. Hey, it's a very interesting design. I feel like, I feel like, I mean, because I feel like it would be decently competitively viable. Like, yeah. you could definitely do very well with it. Um, the only thing, cut that axle, one. <laughs> cut that yeah. axle, two. Yeah. Uh, one and two. Yeah, I think those are all the axles you need to cut. Um, wait, wait, go back? Go back to that picture? What is that? Sensor the, above the brain to the left. Yeah, what is that sensor? Oh, that's basically that's like an old rotational. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's for their four. Okay. Yeah. I feel well, like the motor encoders would probably be good enough for that, right? Because it's not super precise movements. I feel like it. plus if plus if, plus if it's hard stopped, then you'll be able to to stop yeah. it. Yeah. Can, because can't you like see how much like like when the motor can't move anymore, and then yeah. you can just like guys. Um, I'm gonna give this a B tier, guys. Guys, if he stayed, if he stayed all the way till till he till the end of the video, we have more Ace leaks. Two, two Ace leaks. Two two nine V. Ace two two nine V. 
And ace to the again. Two to the We looked at literally this picture at the very beginning of the thing. All right. Well, looks like they're both going to get F tiers for being whole counts. They're both, they whole counted each other. I think two to nine V probably whole counted. Yeah. I think I'm going to give this an S tier and that one an F tier. Yeah. Makes All sense right. To me. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.